Hey, what's going on guys? Come back again here. So I've added sprites to my Wolfenstein 3D clone. So uh, this green lights is something I'm most proud of, to be honest, because uh, for me personally, this is kind of like, uh, like a signature of the original game, this green lights, but the way the upper, uh, the green light itself and the light down below are two separate sprites. Well, obviously we also have the soldiers. Uh, they always face uh, face the player because well no animation added yet but anyway and yeah it was for me personally for for such a dumb like me it was really challenging to figure out how exactly this logic of drawing sprites can be implemented well uh, the most uh, the most enjoyable part was the Z buffering uh, which I understood from, uh, which, under uh, uh, which I could understand the best from, uh, if compared to some other techniques. Well, uh, well obviously I, I didn't invent this way of how to draw sprites and I've taken this from existing project and the credits would be in the, in the description below this video. Uh, I took the code and I've been referencing the tutorials by Russian guy Stanislav Petrov. So man, if you're watching this, thanks for sharing your materials. They were incredibly helpful. And uh, to be honest, it's probably one of the most, well, one of the, s the simplest possible way of how to draw sprites in ray casting within the ray casting engine using Python and Pygame. I think that was the most easiest way to go. So, uh, yeah. The fun thing is that the more things I implement, the more the more I realize uh, how much I still need to implement, basically. So yeah, things like, let's say, doors and the animation of opening the doors, I still have no idea how that can be done. And if we just start talking about like uh, animations, like uh, even starting from the simple animations, like animating the shots when you shoot with your gun, or animating the characters so it's still uh, uh, really questionable here and also I have an idea how we can figure out if we kill an, an enemy so if let's say the central ray and the sprite central ray like uh, being on one line and we, we have the event of pressing the fire button in that case we, we have like uh, this character dying right but it's really unclear for me at the moment how we can do the opposite so let's say the sprite is shooting at you so at very least it should have an angle that he is facing you and that's already a bit of a pain to say at least because yeah you just uh you need to uh, so uh, let, let's say uh, g uh creating a simple ai for the soldiers to follow the player is not a big deal so we can just give them give them a bonus if uh the distance between the uh within the soldier and the player is getting minimized so that would be forcing soldiers to move along the player so i think that's pretty reasonable idea and, and i saw some somewhat similar implementations in that regards but uh yeah if if we really want our enemies to be able to kill the player it's really getting complicated so it's really hard to say like in particular that could, that could have been done and also the animations on its own so I, I was playing around with animating the gunshot but it was it was kind of like a blocking one so when i shoot the fps drops because if i had if i have a delay within the animation uh, the entire scene is freezing and that's definitely not the way to go so probably I need to make this uh, in a, some sort of an asynchronous way so like in parallel well I'm not sure so uh, still would it be referenced in the tutorial I'm currently uh, I'm not following the tutorial that's a bit not my style of coding it's more like really object oriented stuff and things like that but yeah by the way uh, if we talk about the, this, the code stuff I didn't yet uh, showcase the code in the video but it's free it's open source so you can have a look at the code on github 
and what I'm trying to do, I'm just trying to keep the code as simple, as straightforward as possible, as didactic as possible. So we have, uh, I, I didn't even uh, separate the function, so there is uh, an entire while loop and all the game logic, all the stuff, all the recast and all the sprite drawing, the, the entire thing happens within that single game, uh, while, uh, that while loop, that game loop basically. So yeah, uh, I'm not sure if the animation really should be done in parallel, so probably I wouldn't need a separate function for that. I didn't yet think about this, it's just really hard to say. But yeah, anyway, uh, even at this point, I think it's already kind of good enough material for making a tutorial. But uh, I really want, first, I just really want to do my best in terms of trying to, uh, you know, like my idea is try to implement, is try to provide the bare minimum implementation for every single aspect of game, like ray casting, uh, sprites, uh, an ability like the gameplay stuff, so an ability to kill the sprites, and the sprites are able to kill you as well. Uh, yeah, and well, I, I think the things like uh, picking up some uh, ammo and like uh, healing yourself with it also might be on the cards, but not really essential. So the most essential thing is to is the gameplay in terms of being able to kill the sprites and being able to die if the sprite kills you. So the second one again like, is, is is really complicated for me now uh, in particular. But uh, when that if that if I would ever succeed with that sort of a thing, I think I would be able to claim the fact that it's kind of like uh a complete proof of concept implementation of the first person shooter uh in terms of like this very rare and classical first person shooter like wolfenstein 3d and yeah i think uh with this kind of authentic look it might be it might be really interesting so i have no idea how far Am I supposed to be going in this? Because uh, I'm, I'm really dumb, especially in math, and that's that's really challenging to say at least. Doing all of these calculations, and it takes me like so many time and effort to figure out how things work. But the good news is that I can actually uh, I, I actually do divide and conquer things into smaller chunks and. Within the tutorials, it would be hopefully really interesting to see how those kind of chunks work. So, I mean, like, even if I don't understand the math behind the certain sort of a uh, algorithm or things like that, still I can divide and conquer task and trying to print the intermediate, like in between output, like what happens under the hood, like. Let's say this sprites before Z buff, for instance, they were like kind of like the world were kind of transparent and the sprites were rendered all over the scene before I, I added the Z buffer in. And it's exactly the same for like uh, the matter of sprite being visible. So at first I've encountered an issue like uh, you can see sprite from once from one half of the circle, but you can see it from another half and then there's some weird things. So it's it's really it's really practical debugging. It's more like about practical debugging rather than like theoretical mathematics or things like that. So I think this hands-on tutorials would be really, really on the cards. And again, like bearing in mind the fact that the style of the source code is eventually, initially it has been intended for purity, for clarity and with the didactic purposes in mind because uh, there are kind of, really lots of code that does the same thing much much better than my code does but the problem is that when you have this object oriented approach numerous files you're trying to figure out the game logic on its own but you can't figure that out because you just go into this file to that file and you're getting getting overwhelmed and not going anywhere eventually but when you have everything bundled together well, well from the the beauty of the code perspective from the perspective of yeah from the beauty of the code perspective it might not be the best ever solution but from from the clarity from the didactic perspective this might be really on the cards so 
I really hope to come up with something decent within this, within this project and then make a tutorial series on how to come up with your own Wolfenstein 3D. Well, okay, guys, this is it from my side. Thanks for watching. Until the next time, and take care.